Hello and welcome. So here we are back again after a break of a few months while I worked on some other projects. We are looking at the old Norfolk and Suffolk joint line between North Walsham and Cromer Beach. This part between Munsley and Roton Road Junction was opened in August 1906. Previously to this, in July of the same year, the section from Cromer Junction to Runton East Junction and the avoiding curve between Newstead Lane Junction and Runton West Junction had been opened. So in the last video we finished at Trimmingham. And as we move on to our next bridge, you can see the line, the old foliage, the old railway line depicted by the foliage. And we come to our next bridge, number 335. So here we are at the location of the old bridge 335. It was a masonry arch bridge. And all we have now is this piece of embankment on the Munsley side of the road, which is called Top Road. And on the other side of the road, we have another piece of embankment, and that stretches away in the distance towards Cromer. The next station was Side Strand. This small cinder top platform was opened in 1936 to try and catch some local trade. Unfortunately this never materialised and it was closed 17 years later. The station marks the highest point of the line with gradients of 1 in 100 either side. Nothing now remains, but this aerial shot shows its former position. Although when I went to have a closer look, I did find these old concrete fence posts and gate posts, which you can see in the previous picture of the station. And in this next shot, you can see the line of trees and foliage, which indicate the uh, old alignment heading in the direction of the next station, which is Overstrand. And again in this aerial shot, you can see those trees, the old alignment, running from Side st Strand Station up to Overstrand. And uh, it actually goes past three bridges as well, 334, 333 and 332. And this is what's left of 332. All you can see are the parapets. Everything else is completely overgrown. And this is the old track bed down in the cutting. Again, all overgrown. And uh, here we have again line of trees and foliage which indicate the old alignment heading off towards Overstrand. Overstrand station nine miles from North Walsham consisted of one island platform on an embankment with a passing loop. There was also a couple of sidings and a head shunt all on the upside. After 1922, when the signal box was eliminated as a block post, the loop was taken out of use. Access to the platform was via a white tiled subway, number 331, beneath the railway and a long covered frosted glass roof slope up to the platform. Most unusual feature. Fortunately, a lot of the station remains now as a private dwelling. And here we see that subway, number 331, and you can still see the white tiles. This would have been the entrance to the station. And then passengers would have then proceeded under the railway and up the uh, slope there, the covered slope, onto the platform. And you can see some of the buildings in the background and you can also see the platform edge. This was the main platform edge. 
uh, the main, the one that was used throughout its life. And there's an area where the sidings would have been on the upside. And this is the downside, this is the other side of that subway and again you can still see the white tiles. And here's the other platform which was taken out of use once the um, signal box was removed as a block post and the loop was taken out. Um, Obviously there's still a lot of trees around here now and as you can see this is looking at what would have been the old track bed back towards Munsley. Decades of trees and foliage. Just after the head shunt on the Cromer side the railway passed over North Reps Road via bridge number 330. This is all that remains. Just one abutment on the station side of the road. Originally of the rolled joist type. As I say, just this one abutment and a little bit of embankment on the station side of uh, the road. On the other side, it's just a few bungalows. From Overstrand, the line hugged the side of Cromer Road before curving round to the left and entering Cromer Links Holt. The single platform halt opened in 1923 and was accessed by a path up the side of the embankment. It cost £170 to build and served the adjacent golf course. Immediately after the platform, the line crossed another section of North Reps Road via bridge number 328. And this is what's left now. No sign of the bridge. The station would have been on the left where those trees are now and the bridge across there to some more embankment obviously now replaced by some new houses. About a third of a mile further on the line passed beneath the Great Eastern Railway line approaches into Cromer High Station via a short tunnel and beneath the main Norwich Road via bridge number 326. This is the Cromer side or portal of the tunnel, built in blue brick and concrete. This segmental 26 feet or 8 metre span was built by the cut and cover method. It was 62 yards or 56 metres in length. Obviously the previous built line above would have been affected but other work was going on in the area at the same time as we shall see later. And this is bridge number 326 looking south. This is the Norwich Road. This shows the bridge in more detail. I'm on the footbridge actually that is built between the tunnel and this bridge. Uh, it was segmental masonry by the way. Uh, these buildings are on top now of the tunnel and are, are on the old alignment of the Great Eastern Line which ran into Cromer High. Cromer High was in the distance there. At the same time as the line from Munsley was being built, the Great Eastern Railway built a line from their railway at Cromer Junction to connect with the Munsley Line at Roughton Road Junction thus giving the Great Eastern Railway access into Cromer Beach. This is some track relaying work going on at that junction. This is looking towards Cromer and the line behind the signal box is that loop line from the Great Eastern line at Cromer Junction. Immediately after the junction the railway passed over Roughton Road via bridge number 324. The single line from Overstrand was now double. This is that bridge now. This is a superb looking bridge of the rolled joist type, but with decorative arches and balustrade. This is the north side of the bridge. Fine brickwork there. And this is the south side. 
can clearly see the decorative arches and balustrade. And now we're up actually on the station which was built in 1985 to serve the area because we are now on the Greater Anglia line which uses the old railway line and we're looking towards Cromer there where that train goes there's the parapets of the bridge we've just looked at just a single platform station this is obviously we're on a single line you can just make out the parapets in this shot here where that train's passing over now I think that's bridge 321 over Hall Road And this is looking at the other way. This is you can, the curvature of the line there indicates where the junction was. This is the Greater Angular Line from North Walsham via Gunton to Cromer Beach. Well, I think that's enough for part three, and I'll see you in part four. Thanks for watching.